So the ambient program uh, actually predates ecology. Predecessor agencies, be them local, state, uh, other state agencies, or federal, uh, be it EPA or USGS, had stations that we're doing now. So uh, predecessor agencies take some locations back to 59. But we really didn't get going until the 70s. My name is Bill Ward. I do uh, monthly ambient stream monitoring. That entails um, preparing a van to go out and sample uh, somewhere near 20 stations, um, and then uh, calibrating the equipment. Uh, the morning of, getting the ice and, and the coolers and heading down the road and collecting samples where you're gonna get a representative um, uh, picture of the water quality of the stream where we're at, and then run them through um, measurement analysis in the vehicle, and then uh, package some of the samples for later analysis at our Manchester lab. The samples that we collect, we, we test on site, we'll test for pH and conductivity. Uh, preserve the oxygen sample for uh, later analysis and put it in a, uh, not on ice, but in a, a box in the dark. Um, and, uh, and then we'll process, secondary process our nutrient samples into preserved smaller container uh, tag and send them to the lab for their uh, analysis. The bacteria is also just basically collected in the stream and sent um, tagged uh, on ice. Most of our vehicles are, are all-wheel drive because we get into all differing road conditions. Um, overgrown roads going down like a logging road just behind a lock gate. Some of them aren't and so we have to be a little more careful when you're a rear-wheel drive van driving down the road with essentially uh, like a uh, bathroom vanity in it, so a sink, and um, some hardware attached uh, to hang our uh, electrodes and uh, meters and um, carry our coolers and all our other associated equipment. There's around 62 watersheds in the state, and, and we're probably in around 50 of them. Um, we have around 90 stations that we monitor on a monthly basis. Now, around 80 of those stations are, are part of our ambient monitoring program. And around a dozen of those 80 stations are ones that we move to a different watershed every water year. I think having grown up in Washington, Olympia area, um, I, the Deschutes River is not a magnificent stream, but I spent many an afternoon uh, ditching a bike at the East Street Bridge by the Olympia Brewery and just being gone for the day and return home for dinner. Uh, and I'd be with buddies and we'd be fishing or whatever. So I like being outside. And I was looking for work that would give me a similar experience. Now I don't want to say that the, the work is fun, and I, and I, but it, it is, and it can be boring. But what's important is that it gets done right uh, and accurately. And that's the thing that I really drew me to ambient monitoring is because we go to great lengths to ensure we're, we have accurate, uh, we calibrated electrodes and, and have protocols that we follow and uh, procedures that make sure we have the highest confidence in our data. I get to see the seasons change. I also get to see um, the anadromous fish do their thing and come and go. Um, I, I'm, I get to train new staff on our methods and oversee them and, and help others understand the importance of doing it as accurately as possible. Um, and I think as long as you worry about the little things, there's no sweat on the big stuff because it's, it's right. You know, there's no question. Is there any shadow of doubt that's accurate? Um, no. And, and you should be good to go.